Okay, here's my LASIK story. Uh, my name is Dean Cantus. I reside in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, had LASIK in uh, August 24th, 1999 in Chicago. Um, and uh, since I've been completely different. Uh, my vision has regressed every year. Um, I immediately had problems. I immediately was told, uh, oh, no problem, don't worry about it. And, um, you know, I'm angered. I'm angered that uh, society, uh, the media, the doctors, the regulatory agencies are not policing and enforcing uh, things that they should have been enforcing all along. And uh, since they're not doing their job, I feel compelled to go online and blog and show studies and show how uh, people like me are being ditched to the curb and we're being pushed past the statute of limitations time frame to sue, which is usually two years and one day from the date of your procedure, not the date that you figured out that you're made worse and ruined from LASIK. Um, but there's several lies that the industry is telling or not telling, and I'd like to make those known today so people know if they're thinking about getting LASIK, uh, that they should know this to be true and, and search online prior to going to asking a LASIK clinic who is taught, you know, commissioned and paid commissioned only to tell you what you need to know and not to tell you what you don't need to know because they know that they need to make that commission and they need to make that money to pay for the lease for the laser and for uh, the lease of the office space and all the other stuff that goes with uh, being in business. And they are in business. They're there to make money, not to lose money. So here's why number one. Ah, uh, the LASIK flap heals. Well, that's absolutely incorrect. When they tell you that there are no known long-term injuries known, it's just a flat-out lie. There's always been known long-term injuries. The flap never heals. That is a known long-term scar, permanent scar to see through. That causes cell mutation under the surface, under the layers. That's another one. Um, when they thin out your cornea with the laser, that's another one. You're permanently now going from a thick cornea wall that's sturdy and has a rigid mold that keeps your eye vision uh, the same and not variable to a thinned out mixed vision, um, uh, unstable cornea. And that's why so many people are regressing and they're scrambling for a technology to glue the flap back because they know it's problematic. And that's going to be even more problems when they end up passing this through FDA approval, this new cross-linking procedure, collagen cross-linking. Be very careful. Um, the other thing they don't tell you is you're guaranteed to have bad results if you have large pupils. Um, so if this is the size of your pupil during the daytime, and that's the size of your ablation laser treated zone. And all of a sudden, the sun goes down and your pupil starts to go past that zone. It's now seeing through the outer periphery. You are now looking through the old vision. So it's like taking two TVs and layering them. And you're seeing old vision mixed with new clear vision, which creates a double, triple vision effect and halo and starburst and all that stuff. But I'm telling you, I'm not a doctor. I'm a layman. But in layman's terms, they should be explaining this just like this, but they're not. Why are they not doing this? Because they know if they explained it like this in two seconds, you would not do it. You would run out of their clinic, and they'd be out of business, and then their wife wouldn't be able to go to the mall and spend all the money she spends every week on the kids and the you know, Hamptons and ski vacations and all the other stuff that goes with the corruption of money and blood money that they're earning. Um, I have no respect for the industry. I think they're the lowest scum of the earth that they have to lie to make a living. They have to cheat and falsify documents and safety studies to pay, you know, for their and supply their family with fake and blood money. Um, if there's one thing I would tell the industry, um, accountability is coming. And uh, Dr. Waxer and his criminal investigation that has started, um, all you in charge of the safety studies that continue to fabricate, falsify, and fraudulently handle these studies, it's coming, and I'm going to be laughing when I see you guys escorted off into jail and sell um, police cars, and it's, it's a long time coming, and I can't wait. And I hope this story does break because they, it's well-deserved, and, you know, it's like, listen, you know, people think it's safe and effective. It's not. It's like people think that, you know, going to Disney, they're going to Disney World for the family vacation, but yet they get on this bus and it's actually leading them to Auschwitz concentration camp and that's really the truth with LASIK. That, it might sound funny but it's, it's really sick how they market things and how they only tell you the good. They don't tell you the bad. When you do come in and complain they write you a prescription to go see a shrink and uh, this is how they handle their customers and patients. Um, they swore a Hippocratic oath to do no harm. They are harming. They are lying every day. They are the scum 
uh, you know, armpit of physicians in the world. They, the, the, the lowest scum of people in the world that do anything for money. They'll lie and tell you anything to avoid being sued. They fraudulently change uh, patient documents to avoid being sued. They usually have some uh, really, really egregious office manager that works very closely with them in, in the office to hide and cover for them, and that person should be in jail with them as well. Um, that's as nice as I can be. Anyway, um, I continue to cost them millions, and that puts a smile on my face. So have a nice day, and accountability is coming, and karma is going to catch up. Thank you.